Hi, Patrick here, Half Cheetah Wheel View, and we're here for another edition of Dollar Tree Theater. Uh, Dollar Tree Theater is an ongoing series uh, star our good, by our good friend Hops Horror, uh, in which we watch and review a film that we either got at Dollar Tree or anywhere else, anywhere else but we've gotten it for $1.25 or less. Um, so, uh, last week we did, uh, we went to the 60s and we hung out with Raquel Welch and uh, we had a lot of fun in watching and reviewing Fathom. Um, so this week is a little bit different. I uh, felt a little bit more like serious fare. So I went ahead and I went to the stack of movies that my good friend Catfish left me and I decided to watch something that he left. And um, I had never seen before. I heard about it, but I never watched it. So this is the first time, not only is this a review, but it's also a first time watch. And that is two, from the year 2000, it's Rules of Engagement. Uh, Rules of Engagement stars uh, Samuel Jackson and Tommy Lee Jones um, and was directed by uh, Hall of Fame director William Friedkin, who also made The French Connection and The Exorcist, among many other films. Uh, this, is a, uh, this was also a story that was by uh, Jim Webb, who was former Secretary of the Navy, and written by Steve uh, Goggin. Goggin, not Goggin, Goggin. Uh, so uh, the story opens up in 1968 in Vietnam, where uh, Terry Childers, who's played by Samuel Jackson, and ha Hayes, Hayes Hodge, played by Tommy Lee Jones, uh, they're in combat. Um, they each have a platoon of men. Uh, platoon uh, equals a platoon is about 36 men so they have about 70 men between the two of them and um, they're in, they're uh, they're advancing on a position and they just decide to split the platoons up and one go one way the other go the other and so uh, 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 Hayes' uh, platoon goes through straight through the swamp and then uh, Childress is off to the left going to encircle so it takes them out of visual range of each other. Well, as they advanced, um, uh, first, uh, it looks good because Childress surprises a, 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 radio, a, a commanding officer and his radio men behind lines. And as they're squared up to uh, fight uh, uh, Sam and Jackson's troops, uh, and they do, they, they engage him in combat, but Sam and Jackson's troops overrun that position. Uh, at the same time, the same thing is happening to over to Hayes Hodge. He has walked into an ambush, and his platoon is being overrun. So it's a it's a hairy situation, and um, and Terry is calling for him. You know, like you know, he see he hears the combat, but they're they're way away. They're not going to get there in time. So what he does is he grabs the commanding officer of the troops that are attacking Hayes, and he tells him to call off his men, and he tells him to either call them off or they're both him and his radio man are going to die. And he proves his point by executing the radio man. Uh, the, the colonel who, uh, of the, the North Vietnamese colonel sees this and he calls off his men. He doesn't want to die. Uh, he calls off his men and break, has them break off the engagement with uh, Hayes' troops. Uh, unfortunately, by that time, uh, Hayes is only man left alive in his, his, his platoon. 35 out of 36 are gone. Um, and it's haunting. But, but he saves his life. Uh, uh, Terry saves uh, Hayes' life. And so, you know, they're close friends. And then we get brought up to the present. And we see that Hayes Hodge is getting ready to retire from the U.S. Marine Corps after 32, uh, after 32 years of service. And they have surprised him by having uh, uh, Colonel Childers, Terry, come on in to surprise him, as, you know, surprise him on his retirement party. He's only got like 30 days left. It's just a... You know, he doesn't have much time. So, uh, the two men see each other, haven't seen each other for a minute. Uh, they hug, they're close. You can definitely tell they're close. They have that bond. And um, and then Terry tells uh, Hayes that he's been command of the 24th Expedition. Ex uh, okay, 24th Amphibious Assault Unit. I know it's not the correct term. I can't say the word. I don't know why. Um. So he is, uh, he's being tasked to fly over to y Yemen to evacuate uh, Terrius to uh, rescue the, uh, the ambassador and all Americans, non-essential Americans, from the embassy that are being overrun. 
As they're flying in, we see that the embassy is under assault. Uh, snipers and gunfire, Molotov cocktails. Uh, basically, the the the, uh, the people there don't want us there. <laughs> they're, they're unhappy with America. This is 2000, so it is pretty uh, pretty right. <laughs> um, well, they fly in. Uh, Terry flies in. Uh, he's only taken and uh, a platoon him his, of his own men, which again is only 36 men. Not very much against when you're facing hundreds. And uh, the Marines land and they evacuate. Uh, uh, they evacuate the ambassador under heavy fire, and they're very courteous and they're very careful. And they're and they're and they're and they make sure that the uh, they make sure that the ambassador and his wife and, and his child are evacuated safely, and they're gentle about it. Uh, Colonel Childers talks to her, talks to the son, and salutes him, and, and he, under great duress to his own self, he takes the flag. Uh, one of the flags from the American embassy, and he gives it to, uh, he gives it to the ambassador. Um, now back on the roof, um, the, the the Marines are under heavy, heavy fire, not only from the uh, snipers, but from the people in the crowd, uh, and they're firing on the embassy, and they're and they're starting to kill Marines, and so they're 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 they have to wait till the hell to the helicopters come back, and um, they're be, you know men are dying now. And uh, Colonel Childers tells them to open up, you know, uh, to, to shoot, to defend themselves. And so they are on top of the roof. They lean over and they shoot into the crowd. Uh, and it's it's a horrible scene. I'm not going to lie about that. Uh, it's a horrible scene. But but honestly, that's that's how it is over there. It's not the first time you'll hear about something like that. The same sort of uh, uh, combat happened in uh, Black Hawk Down where the militants were fighting among the civilians, and we're seeing the same thing now in, in Gaza. Hamas is fighting among the citizens. So when you shoot back, you're killing citizens along with the, with the terrorists. It's not a new, it's not a new concept. Um, so the Colonel Childress fires down into the crowd uh, and ends up killing over 83 uh, men, women, and children. And uh, hundreds are wounded. Uh, so, uh, when, you know, the course is a disaster and the State Department has to try to come up with an idea to, you know, to cover their ass on it. And so they decided they're going to do is they're going to they're going to throw uh, Colonel Childers to the wolves. They're going to sacrifice this man and his career and have him brought up on charges. Uh, Eighty three counts of murder. And and he goes, uh, Childers goes and he uh, he asks his friend Hayes uh, Hayes to defend him because that's what he's been doing. The last uh, uh, the last 26 years he's been a, a trial lawyer for for the Marines uh, of course Hayes has, has his own skeletons in the closet he has survivor's guilt uh, he has he's probably probably a borderline alcoholic um, but he, and he's not a very and he has no self-confidence it, so it appears but as he gets into he, he accepts the case and um, as he accepts the case, we find out that there is a tape that could exonerate Colonel Childers, but the State Department destroys it. Uh, the, the National Security Advisor, he destroys the tape. And he basically uh, blackmails the, uh, uh, the ambassador to give false testimony on the stand. Uh, even though the ambassador was grateful and he owed him his life, but his fear for his career outweigh his moral obligation and so he um he lies on the stand during the trial um the trial itself it's you know they have a hothead uh, major hotshot major major uh um, major bigs Boggs. let's see Boggs. i think it is um let me see i don't want to mix it yeah bigs major bigs and it's played by guy pierce guy pierce looked he's absolutely fierce in this movie and and the court, you know, they go to court and they have the trial. But I got to be honest with you, the trial, the the, the tr I like this movie, but man, oh man, it was really like you just the, the the court scenes in this movie just did not ring true at all. I I cannot see a single Marine going balls out like uh like they portrayed uh, uh, Major Biggs at to crucify Colonel Childers. Um. I just, you know, you, if you're guilty, you're guilty, sure. But with the, with the, I mean, you're, you're talking like 
the they had the major basically dismissing the service Colonel Childers. Uh, he also brings in as a, a a witness, a character witness. He brings back the colonel. He finds the colonel from uh, from from the incident in Vietnam, and has him come out to testify against what, what you know testify what Colonel Childers did back in 1968. Um, I find it I found it a little bit hard to believe that they would go to that extremes to nail a, 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 a honored and decorated soldier, including one with a Navy Cross. Which is a step below the Medal of Honor, um, so it, that the, the trial itself, it was it, that part of the, the two. It was too too gung ho for me. Um, I think if they would have dialed it back just a little bit, um, and I think that what they needed to do too is they needed to find the tape. They needed to to, to entrap the national security advisor or the ambassador. Um, the end of the movie, uh, uh, William Freakin mentions that at the end of the movie. Initially, it just showed um, it showed the ending of the trial, and then it showed Colonel Childress walking away, and that was the end of it. But they said during test screenings that they insisted on knowing what happened to the ambassador and and the national security advisor. So they superimposed the text over what to what happened, uh, and you can see that when you watch the movie. But oh, like I said, overall though, I really did like Rules of Engagement. I thought it had a, a depicted a realistically combat. Um, the, the fight scenes were very real, and uh, the reaction to it was very real. Um, and I like the, you know, there's, you know, Samuel Jackson and Tommy Lee Jones are both excellent in this movie, uh, as this guy Pierce. Um, yeah, this is a strong one. Um, it, it, it was made for $60 million and it only made $72 million back at the box office. So it wasn't considered a, 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 a hit. It wasn't considered a financial success. Um but it doesn't mean that it, it doesn't mean the movie failed. Um, other than the court scene, which I would have dialed back, uh, I thought the acting, like I said, the acting on, on spot, uh, you know, spotless. Um, two two giants like uh, Tommy Lee Jones and Samuel Jackson. We don't get enough of that. We don't get enough of that kind of uh, that heavyweight star power uh, in the same scenes together. We need more of that to me in movies like this. Um, I enjoy it. I enjoy the repartee. I enjoy the, you know, the, even though the, they're very close, they're close like brothers, but they can disagree. They can even fight among them themselves. Uh, so Freakin did a really good job in depicting that. Um, but the, 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 the court scene, again, not to beat a dead horse, but that's the only thing I would I would have changed on this movie. Uh, this came out in 2000, but this uh, edition here has a, a making of featurette. And it has cast and crew interviews, and more importantly, the, and the best part about this movie, in a way, is it has a director's commentary. Uh, William Friedkin is, uh, uh, commentates on this movie. I think he has done that for all his movies. He is a director who does not mind doing director's commentary, and uh, thank you for that, Mr. Friedkin, um, that you left that left that left your words for us to, to hear. All right. Well, that's it for this edition of Dollar Tree Theater. If you've seen Rules of Engagement, I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. i uh, love to hear uh, your favorite war movies, uh, your favorite courthouse movies. Uh, drop them down in the comment section. Let's get a dialogue going. Uh, if you want to uh, if you, if you want to be partake in the vote, if you want to have a voice in, in this, um, you go to my community tab. I have a poll running. I'm going to run it for one more week. Um, if you want, if you want to be surprised by what me and the cheater present, vote for that. If you want to have a voice in what we watch, vote for that way too. Uh, love the either way. It's, it's a win-win situation for us. Uh, but thanks for watching and we will talk to you next week here on Dollar Tree Theater. Peace.